Hi everyone, thank you for checking out our videos. My name is Mike Debroda. I'm the general manager of TerraQuip Drilling Equipment. We are the representatives of IMT drilling and piling rigs for Australia and New Zealand. And today we're going to be looking at the IMT A215, which is currently working in New Zealand and is performing quite an impressive project. This piling project consists in performing 57 meters piles, 57 meter dead piles at 2.1 meter diameter. The material is not very hard, it's quite soft material. You can see here the A215 having in front a drilling tool which is a drilling bucket, 2.1 meter diameter. It fits just along the mast, so the operator doesn't need to drill with the tool under the mast, which is quite a good advantage. It is the maximum that you can drill with this drilling rig along the mast. We can see now the operator tracking with the machine to the location where the pile will be drilled. The casing is already inserted in the ground. As soon as the operator will reach the bottom of the hole with the drilling tool, he'll continue to drill from he, where he was left off. I think from memory the drilling depth at the start of this day was 14 meters, was about 14 meters, which is about the length of, the, of one element of the Kelly bar. This Kelly bar was specially made for 57 meters depth while still being just four elements, but it is quite long. Therefore, the length of the mast of this machine, of this A215, has been increased by 1.6 meters in order to take such a long Kelly bar while still having just four elements. We can see now the operator discharging all the excavator material. It's still quite sloppy and it, it's, it's pretty soft and at this depth there's still quite a lot of uh, water ingress. We can see now the Kelly bar and the tool being lowered into the hole and starting drilling again. Again, the reason why we took this shot is because we wanted to show the cat head and the mast not moving much despite the large diameter that's being drilled. In fact, we'll notice that regardless the process that the operator is on, whether that's lowering the Kelly bar, drilling, extracting, or discharging the material, the machine doesn't move much. And this is the advantage with IMT. They're built very, very robust. They're quite a sturdy design, and they are made for really hard materials and really hard jobs. We can see here the main winch directly at work while it is extracting the tool from about 24-25 meters right now. 
you can see the winding of the rope on the drum is very tidy and that's thanks to a very good winch and press cable mechanism now the operator will slew out of the hole and will discharge again the excavator material as we're progressing we will see drier and drier material obviously that's still not the case As the operator is discharging the material, the excavator material, an excavator is being used to dispose of all that material and clear the way. We can notice here the drilling bucket being very, very close to the mast, but still having enough clearance in order to safely drill and without touching the mast. As the operator is lowering the tool back into the hole, I'm going to take the opportunity to mention that this IMT-8215 was sold in a special configuration and that is with a 1.6 meters longer mast and a longer Kelly bar in order to facilitate the 57 meters depth. We can see here the inner elements extending and the drilling tool being at the bottom of the hole. This is quite zoomed in. It seems at the surface but it's actually um, zoomed in 10 times. According to the people on site, they've been able to drill 57 meter pile in about 7-8 meters and that contains, that comprises the whole process of aligning, drilling, concreting the hole, cage insertion and casing extraction. Which is quite an impressive, all the credit to the guys on site, they've been doing an amazing job. As for the shorter piles, they've been able to drill 30 to 34 meters depth. Again, same diameter, 2.1 meters in approximately three to four hours. And that's for the completed pile, including the concreting and cage insertion. The IMT drilling rigs are quite easy to be operated and quite easy to learn on. They possess a few features that are very operator friendly, such as the automatic free flow winch, such as the bottom hole function, and a few other operator friendly features. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us, info at terraquip.com.au.